step-by-step -step guide to legally teaching English in Japan. Japan has been a popular destination for English teachers from all over the world for decades. Year after year, thousands of teachers come to Japan attracted by the country's fascinating culture and the lucrative salaries, as well as the government-funded JET program that places qualified teachers into public schools across the country. Teaching English in Japan is an exciting adventure and offers you the opportunity to experience a unique culture like a local. However, it is important to be aware of the local job market and regulations before heading off on your adventure of teaching English in Japan. Step 1. Understanding the visa situation. To legally work in Japan you need to obtain a work visa. The good news is that obtaining a work visa to teach English in Japan isn't as difficult as it is in some other countries in the region. In order to obtain a work visa you need to possess a degree in any subject, be fluent in the English language, and have a strong desire and willingness to pass on your language knowledge to your students. Other requirements for the work visa application for teaching English in Japan at the time of writing, bachelor's and or master's degree diploma. Sealed college or university transcript. Original national level criminal background check, FBI in the US. Passport photos. Original contract to be provided by your employer for visa processing at consulate. Original passport that is valid for at least one year. Step 2. Get your TEFL certification. A TEFL certification is not a requirement to obtain a work visa for teaching English in Japan as of now. However, as Japan is such a popular teaching destination, the competition is fierce. That is why it is recommended that you complete a TEFL certification course before applying for jobs. A TEFL certificate will increase your chances of landing a great position at a renowned school and get you a higher salary than teachers without certification. It will also give you the skills and knowledge you need to lead a classroom confidently and efficiently. If you want to live and work in Japan as an English teacher, we recommend that you start your TEFL TESOL course at least one year before your desired start date. If you choose an in-class TEFL TESOL course, you will receive your certificate within around four weeks. On the other hand, an online course can take anywhere between two and six months. This depends on how much time you have and how quickly you work through the course units. Also keep in mind that while in-class courses were much preferred in the early days of EFL teaching, online TEFL courses are now just as valued. Join our four-week in-class TEFL course option in Tokyo for a head start in teaching English in Japan. We recommend the following course options. 120-hour TEFL TESOL course. 220-hour master package. 470-hour professional package. Step 3. Do your homework and research. If you want to head to Japan to teach English abroad, do as much research about the local culture and job market as you can. Usually, new teachers moving to Japan start out working at public schools through the government-funded JET program. Later on, once they know the local work culture and have built a network, a lot of teachers branch out to work for private language academies or work directly for companies teaching English to employees. Private language academies generally operate in the late afternoon and evenings, where children and adults attend to improve their language skills in their own time. At both public and private schools, teachers earn between US $2,000 and $3,000 per month, depending on location, position and current exchange rate. Step 4. Be patient, persistent and flexible. While a lot of teachers choose Tokyo as their new home base in Japan, there are a lot of other exciting cities and towns across the nation. It's also worth noting that the cost of living in Tokyo is among the highest in the country and even the world. Other popular locations for teachers are Kyoto, Osaka, or even the beautiful vacation island of Okinawa. The convenience of Japan's bullet train and express bus systems allows you to travel between cities very easily. 
Step 5. Apply for jobs. Once you have your TEFL certificate in hand and understand the local job market, you are ready to start your job search. All enrolled ITTT students and alumni have access to our lifetime job assistance, including our job boards. We have a large network of recruiters and schools in Asia with whom you can work with to find the job offer that suits your needs. We work with a range of renowned recruiters who specialize in the Japanese market, and we would love to connect you with them. Besides our own connections in the ITTT job board, you can also search for recruiters in Japan via an online search. These types of agencies are a great place to start because they know the local job market and can set up interviews for you with suitable schools. Are you ready for your Japan adventure? Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Teaching English in Japan, the Salary and Budget Guide The following guide will help you answer the question, how much can I earn and save while teaching English in Japan? You will also find information on the local cost of living in order to figure out how much to budget for when moving to Japan. The typical salary for English teachers in Japan. Japan has been a popular destination for teaching English as a foreign language for decades. With the government-funded teacher placement program called JET, there are a lot of options for English teachers to find a suitable position all over the country. The cost of living in Japan has increased significantly in recent years which means it is no longer the top destination for saving large amounts of money in Asia. However Japan still has plenty to offer both new and experienced teachers. As a guide, you should expect to earn somewhere between 200,000 and 600,000 yen, currently $2,000 to $6,000 US per month. If the job pays by the hour then a figure of around 2,500 yen, $25 US per hour would be typical. The salary also depends on where you are located in Japan. The highest salaries are paid in the big cities, especially Tokyo, but the cost of living there is also the highest. There are many smaller cities and towns all across Japan looking for TEFL qualified teachers where the salary is competitive and the cost of living not as high as in the capital. Other benefits to expect when teaching English in Japan. Besides this salary, most teachers in Japan also receive free housing or a housing allowance from their employer. Additionally, most schools pay for the round-trip airfare for their teachers and healthcare is also very affordable. There is also usually a contract completion bonus offered. How to earn extra cash while teaching English in Japan. One popular option for teachers looking to top up their earnings is to take on private students in their free time. Most private lessons are around 3,000 yen $30 per hour, which can go a long way to making your stay in Japan even more comfortable. The cost of living in Japan. According to the latest statistics from Expatistan, Tokyo is the third most expensive city to live in Asia, after Hong Kong and Singapore. However, the competitive salary and attractive benefits as an EFL teacher in Japan still allow you to live comfortably. Below, we break down the cost of living in Japan for individual aspects. Cost of living in Japan. Food. Shopping at local markets and eating at local restaurants drastically reduces your expenses and also gives you a deeper insight into local culture and the Japanese way of life. Milk. 1 -0. 186.53 yen. Eggs, 12. 226.87 yen. Apples, 1 kilogram. 814.00 yen. Chicken breast, 1 kilogram. 797.50 yen. Rice, 1 kilogram. 558.33 yen. Bottle of water, 1.5 l.
122.58 yen. Bottle of Japanese beer 0.5 liters, 301.29 yen. Cost of living in Japan. Leisure activities. Japanese people love going out with friends and family to have a good time. Whether it's eating out at a good restaurant, singing their soul out at karaoke, or going to a club in the city, Japan's leisure activities have something for everyone. Three-course mid-range restaurant dinner 5,000.00 yen. Quick restaurant meal of rice or ramen 1,000 yen. One-month fitness club membership 9,842.11 yen. Tennis court rent, one hour on weekend, 2,421.43 yen. Movie ticket, international release, 1,800.00 yen. Cost of living in Japan. Transportation. Japan is known all over the world for its modern and efficient public transit network. The bimses and subways in the cities are fast and reliable, and the bullet trains are among the fastest in the whole world, connecting the cities of the country with one another. Metro ride. 200 yen. Taxi rate per kilometers 410 yen. Start fare 475 yen. City bus. 200 yen. Monthly bus and subway pass. 10,000 yen. And subway pass. 10,000.00 yen. Cost of living in Japan. Travel in Japan and beyond. Japan is an incredible island nation with lots of things to see and do in your free time. The bullet trains are incredibly fast and affordable and domestic flights to other parts of the country are also quite cheap. Plus, you can visit neighboring Asian countries like South Korea and China in just a couple of hours. One night in a mid-range hotel. 15,000 yen. High-speed train, Tokyo to Osaka, 2-5 hours. 18,000 yen. Slow train, Tokyo to Osaka, 3.5 hours. 15,000 yen. Flight, Tokyo to Okinawa, 2-5 hours. 12,700 yen. Flight, Tokyo to Seoul, 2 hours. 7,200 yen. Sample monthly teacher budget. To give you an example of how an English teacher in Japan spends their salary, here is a sample monthly budget. Gross income, salary. Average salary 280,000 yen. Rent. Zero, paid for by employer. Utilities, electricity, gas, water. 22,500 yen. Phone and internet. 4,700 yen. Food. 25,000 yen. Insurance, 3,000 yen. Remaining disposable income, 224,800 yen. Approx, $2,000 United States dollars. How much you can save when teaching English in Japan? As you can see from the sample budget above, the competitive salaries in Japan allow you to save quite a lot of money during the length of your contract. Because rent is often paid for by the employer, you will be able to save money that would otherwise go on housing. Depending on your lifestyle, ESL teachers in Japan are easily able to save anything from $500 to $1,000 per month. Are you ready to teach English in Japan? For the best possible start to your teaching career in Japan, why not take our in-class TEFL certification course in Tokyo? You can also get more information about living and teaching English in Japan via our Japan Country page. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The Japan Exchange and Teaching JET program. All you need to know and how to apply. The Japan Exchange and Teaching program is not the only means to teach English in Japan, but it is one of the most popular programs out there both for aspiring teachers and those who wish to pursue other fields. I first joined this program a little over a year ago. 
In the short time since then, I've gained incredibly valuable experiences through my work as an assistant language teacher. Local prefectural governments and larger government bodies, including Japan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, manage the JET program. They hire alts from English-speaking countries all over the world to increase Japan's international understanding at the level of local communities. Japan is an attractive country to teach in because teachers hold a certain respect in society and English language knowledge is highly valued. On top of that, living in Japan can be a real adventure. The country is a unique blend of old and new with far too many hidden gems to count. Wherever you go in Japan, it will quickly become your favorite place. The History of JET The JET program was founded in 1987 in the hope of improving Japan's internationalization through language education and cultural exchange. Today, JET is one of the largest teaching exchange programs in the world. Since the program's founding, the number of participants has increased from 848 in its first year to 5,528 participants in its 32nd year. The number of countries participating in JET has also grown from 4 to 54 in that same time. Duties of an assistant language teacher An ALT's role is to supplement the English program of one or multiple schools. This mainly includes team teaching English classes with Japanese teachers of English JTEs. It may also include activities outside of class such as preparing students for speech contests, helping with the English club, and even participating in annual school events. A popular saying within the JET program is that every situation is different. How actively you contribute to classes and what sorts of tasks you may be asked to do outside of class will depend on the school schools you work in. For example, if you're assigned to work at the high school level, it's likely you'll only work with one school and be responsible for a decent amount of lesson planning. On the other hand, if you're assigned to work at the elementary or junior high school level, You'll probably work with multiple schools, and your JTEs will be in charge of almost all of the lesson planning. In my case, I teach at three different junior high schools and occasionally visit elementary schools. In some of my classes, I often contribute activities and special lessons. In other classes, I mostly run repetition drills and model a native English speaker's pronunciation. Every fall, I help with English speech contest preparations and school festivals. In December, I get to visit kindergartens dressed up as Santa Claus or an elf. On top of my regular duties I've also been able to start some things myself. Every month, I make English bulletin boards for my schools and I also run activities during lunch. How to apply for the JET program since JET is a well-known option for working in Japan, the application process is competitive. However, since ALTs are assistant teachers, it's possible to be accepted without having years of education experience. That said, you will need at least a bachelor's degree plus experience with kids or instructing. If you hold a degree related to education or Japan, that can help to boost your application. Holding a TEFL TESOL certificate can be another way to boost your application, although you aren't required to have a certificate to be accepted. Every fall, JET's application is available on the program's website or through related embassies and consulates. The deadline to gather and submit all of the required materials is usually in November. If you're a university senior and interested in applying to JET, you can start your application before you graduate, so long as you provide proof of your graduation later on. This is what I did during my application process, and I ended up leaving for Japan just about a month after I graduated. If your application passes the first stage of selections, you'll get an interview. This will happen in February at an embassy or consulate in your home country. You can choose to have your interview at whatever location is easiest for you to get to. In March or April, you'll receive the final decision on your application. You may be officially accepted, officially rejected, or marked as an alternate candidate. If you happen to get marked as an alternate, don't lose hope just yet. 
In the time that I've been on JET, I've met two alts in my city who were alternates and were accepted in the end. After you're accepted, JET will assign you the prefecture and town city that you'll be working in. Your flight to Japan and any other travel expenses needed to get you to your assigned location will be covered by JET. Most alts arrive towards the end of Japan's summer vacation. This gives you time to settle into your new home and attend the general and prefectural orientations, which are mandatory for all new jets. These orientations are really helpful, especially if you've never been to Japan before. They include tips for daily life in Japan, workplace etiquette, and even some basic Japanese lessons for anyone who needs them. Remuneration and living. Housing situations will be slightly different for every jet. In my city, alts live in places that are either owned or subsidized by the city's board of education. These places include two small houses and several apartments. The rent in these places is ridiculously cheap compared to what I'm used to. My rent is 10,000 yen, about 100 United States dollars a month, plus utilities, but since I live alone, I manage to keep my utilities costs pretty low. Salaries for alts will start at about 3.36 million yen a year. A small raise will be added to that amount for every additional year and alt stays on the program. This salary is plenty to live on in Japan, especially rural Japan. In the time that I've lived here, I've been able to take care of all my living necessities, pay off a good chunk of my student loans, and travel around Japan during school holidays, Rewards of JET. Although contracts with JET can only last up to five years, the experiences you gain on the program count. You will most likely be placed in a little known or rural area. This means you will probably be one of the only foreigners your students get to spend an extended period of time with. This adds incredible value to what you do because if your students never visit a foreign country, Several of my students have told me they don't want to travel abroad, they still have a chance to learn about other cultures and people through you. Not to mention, your teaching style will probably bring a good change of pace. Much of the Japanese education system is focused on study activities and tests. Both my teachers and my students really appreciate it when I make a game of Jeopardy to review the last textbook unit or volunteer to teach a recipe from my home country. Your presence can have a lot of value outside of school as well. As an alt, you can find a lot of ways to volunteer in your community such as running a booth at international festivals, promoting tourism in your area, or fundraising for study abroad scholarships. Wherever you go in Japan, you can have the chance to make a positive impact. The people you work with can be a wonderful part of the job as well. Even though I never had any experience in a formal classroom before I came to Japan, all of the teachers I've worked with have been very helpful and welcoming. My students are also incredibly charming. In many ways, junior high school students in Japan are the same as junior high school students in any other country. A lot of my students enjoy school, but a lot don't too. Still, students in Japan are taught to respect their teachers and most are very friendly. On top of all of this, alts will find many opportunities on JET to learn something new and improve themselves. The Council of Local Authorities for International Relations, one of the larger government organizations behind JET, offers educational grants and online courses for JET participants. These include grants to earn a TEFL TESOL certificate, online Japanese lessons, and testing fee reimbursements for anyone who can pass the top three levels of the Japanese language proficiency test. Common Challenges for Alts the Japanese school system is centered around standardized testing, and the main reason students learn English is that it's in high school and university entrance exams. For this reason, many of the classes you will teach as an alt are geared towards the purpose of passing tests. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will always teach to the test. Many of my JTEs actively try to run their classes in a way that puts English in a context outside of exams. 
However, students still have to pass exams to go to high school and university. In other words, there will be many classes when you have to teach what's in the textbook and on the test. Engaging with students can sometimes be difficult too. Many of my students, especially in the higher grades, are terrified of making mistakes in front of their classmates or teachers. Add this to the fact that they've probably had very little practice with free conversation and they can be easily daunted by talking with an alt. Class activities that require students to work individually may also be daunting for similar reasons. However, this may change slightly the longer you stay in Japan. Once the students become used to you and how you contribute to the class, they can become more comfortable. Finally, depending on the alt, daily life in Japan can come with its challenges. While it's possible you may be placed in a larger, tourist-friendly city like Tokyo or Kyoto, it's more likely you'll be placed in a small city or town. Aside from classes, almost every situation inside and outside of school will be conducted in Japanese. People will still be friendly towards you, and anyone who knows any English will try their best to communicate with you. However, there are still times when you can really feel the weight of the language barrier. The Jet Community. The community I found in Japan is one of my favorite things about Jet. Nationwide and in every prefecture, there is a chapter of a Jet Association for Japan Exchange and Teaching. A Jet is an organization run by Jets for Jets. They organize community events throughout the year, they offer resources for teaching and skill development, and generally support and connect Jets in every way they can. You don't have to worry about making friends in Japan because you can definitely find them through a JET. JET also has an extensive support network for more serious situations. If a JET participant needs help with mental health support, the Council of Local Authorities for International Relations, Claire, who offers several different services. These include free online counseling, assistance in covering the costs of in-person counseling, and emergency hotlines. A JET runs a confidential listening and resource hotline as well. In the case of natural disasters, Claire and a JET have communication networks in place to account for every JET participant's safety. Both organizations also distribute detailed information about how to prepare for a disaster beforehand. On top of all of this, leaving JET doesn't mean you have to leave the community behind. JET alumni associations exist in every country that participates in JET, and every participant who finishes their time on the program is welcome to join. Common challenges for alts. The Japanese school system is centered around standardized testing, and the main reason students learn English is that it's in high school and university entrance exams. For this reason, many of the classes you will teach as an alt are geared towards the purpose of passing tests. This doesn't necessarily mean that you will always teach to the test. Many of my JTEs actively try to run their classes in a way that puts English in a context outside of exams. However, students still have to pass exams to go to high school and university. In other words, there will be many classes when you have to teach what's in the textbook and on the test. Engaging with students can sometimes be difficult too. Many of my students, especially in the higher grades, are terrified of making mistakes in front of their classmates or teachers. Add this to the fact that they've probably had very little practice with free conversation and they can be easily daunted by talking with an alt. Class activities that require students to work individually may also be daunting for similar reasons. However, this may change slightly the longer you stay in Japan. Once the students become used to you and how you contribute to the class, they can become more comfortable. Finally, depending on the alt, daily life in Japan can come with its challenges. While it's possible you may be placed in a larger, tourist-friendly city like Tokyo or Kyoto, it's more likely you'll be placed in a small city or town. Aside from classes, almost every situation inside and outside of school will be conducted in Japanese. 
people will still be friendly towards you, and anyone who knows any English will try their best to communicate with you. However, there are still times when you can really feel the weight of the language barrier. The JET community. The community I found in Japan is one of my favorite things about JET. Nationwide and in every prefecture, there is a chapter of a JET, Association for Japan Exchange and Teaching. A JET is an organization run by JETs for JETs. They organize community events throughout the year, offer resources for teaching and skill development, and generally support and connect JETs in every way they can. You don't have to worry about making friends in Japan because you can definitely find them through a JET. JET also has an extensive support network for more serious situations. If a JET participant needs help with mental health support, Claire offers several different services. These include free online counseling, assistance in covering the costs of in-person counseling, and emergency hotlines. A JET runs a confidential listening and resource hotline as well. In the case of natural disasters, Claire and a JET have communication networks in place to account for every JET participant's safety. Both organizations also distribute detailed information about how to prepare for a disaster beforehand. On top of all of this, leaving JET doesn't mean you have to leave the community behind. JET alumni associations exist in every country that participates in JET, and every participant who finishes their time on the program is welcome to join. What are you waiting for? The JET program is a great path for first-time ESL teachers. In just over a year, I feel like I've learned and grown so much, and I know this experience will help me in the future. If this is your first time working in a foreign country, rest assured you can find support through JET to help you be the best alt you can be. If you want to start a career in ESL, learn some new skills, make a difference in a community, or just try something new, I can't recommend the JET program enough. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The Top 5 Places to Teach English in Japan The utterly unique character of Japan has fascinated people from all over the world throughout history, and this is still very true today. Nowhere else quite captures the imagination like Japan, with its individual blend of East Asian culture and high-tech modernity. Its popularity among foreign teachers is also enhanced by the strong demand for TEFL qualified IT professionals in all of its major cities, as well as many smaller towns across the country. Although competition for the top jobs can sometimes be tough, the promise of living and working in one of the world's most fascinating countries continues to draw many thousands of teachers every year. If you would like to join them, take a look at our pick of the top 5 places to teach English in Japan. 1. Tokyo. While the hectic nature of this huge global city might not appeal to everyone, it simply has to be on our list due to the endless sights and attractions it offers and the large number of jobs that are available. As you might expect, the cost of living is higher here than in many other parts of Japan, but salaries are usually higher to compensate. The country's famously efficient public transport system also means that many teachers are able to live in the suburbs and commute for work, which means you can save a considerable sum on housing costs. During your time away from the classroom you will never be short of things to do as the entertainment options across the city are mind-boggling, from exotic gardens and ancient temples to modern art museums and endless shopping. After dark, you will also be spoiled for choice as the city offers every style of bar, cafe, restaurant, and nightclub that you can possibly imagine. The city's status as a major transportation hub also means you can easily get away from the hustle and bustle whenever you feel the need to recharge your batteries. 
If living and working in one of the world's largest and most exciting cities appeals to you, then Tokyo might be the perfect choice. 2. Osaka. Although Osaka is also a large city that covers a huge area, it offers a slightly different atmosphere to the capital. While it is still a modern city with a great infrastructure, there is a certain grittiness about Osaka and its residents that sets it apart. Teaching jobs are widely available in the downtown area and right across the city's many districts, with options ranging from teaching young children right through to adults at university level. In comparison to Tokyo, the cost of living is more affordable. However, competition for the best-paying jobs is often quite strong, so you might need to work your way up the ladder rather than start at the top. As you would expect from a big city, there are plenty of attractions to explore in Osaka at any time of the day or night. As well as the city's many traditional sites, such as temples, gardens, and shrines, there are plenty of modern attractions including Universal Studios Japan which offers no fewer than five roller coasters and a dazzling array of other rides. Osaka is also particularly famous as a culinary destination and is regarded by many as the best place in the world to enjoy Japanese food. One local specialty that you should look out for is takoyaki, a popular snack that consists of grilled octopus and other ingredients in a delicious battered ball. If great food is a must for you, maybe you should consider Osaka as your teaching destination in Japan. 3. Sapporo. The city of Sapporo is situated on Japan's most northerly island, Hokkaido. Although the cost of living is noticeably lower here than in our two previous cities, you will not find the same high number of teaching options as Tokyo and Osaka. The city's popularity with foreign workers also means that the local market can sometimes be harder to crack if you lack experience in the classroom. However, with persistence and hard work even first-time teachers should find they can get their foot in the door and work their way up to better positions. Sapporo's northerly location is partly what makes the city unique as it enjoys warm summers without the high humidity of many other areas, as well as heavy snowfall during the winter months which makes it a haven for lovers of skiing and snowboarding. The city is also well known for being exceptionally clean and well organized, with all the modern amenities you would expect from a major Japanese city. For those foreign teachers who do make Sapporo their home, a warm welcome awaits from its friendly local people and its diverse and tight-knit expat community. If winter sports are your passion, Sapporo is surely the obvious choice. 4. Fukuoka. Although similar in size to Sapporo, Fukuoka could hardly be farther away as it is located on the southerly island of Kyushu. Despite the distance between them, the two cities offer similar destinations in terms of jobs. The market is much smaller than Tokyo and Osaka, and the competition is sometimes tough as it is a popular place for foreign teachers to live and work. Having said that, there are always options available in a variety of different schools and businesses, you just need to be prepared to do the legwork to hunt them down. In contrast to Sapporo, Fukuoka has a tropical climate that ensures warm summers and mild winters which often appeals to more teachers than the long, snowy winters of northern Japan. The fine climate, as well as the city's open, international feel, has led to a large expat community developing in Fukuoka. In your free time, you can take advantage of all the activities and social gatherings that are organized by the various expat groups and indulge in the great local cuisine and lively nightlife that can be found right across the city. If warm weather and an active expat community tick your boxes, why not take a closer look at Fukuoka? 5. Okinawa. If you are looking for something a little different, maybe the island of Okinawa would suit you. Situated over 600 kilometers to the south of mainland Japan, Okinawa is well known as the home of a large number of American military bases that have remained since the end of World War II. Away from these areas, you will find some of the most pristine natural beauty in the whole region. 
due to their relatively small population, teaching jobs are not found in abundance, but there are a significant number of opportunities to work as an assistant language teacher alt, in government-run junior and senior schools. The subtropical climate of the island is popular with those looking to leave behind the long winters of North America or Northern Europe. During your stay, you should explore as much as possible, particularly some of the smaller islands nearby that can be reached by ferry or plane. Although some of these might be a little difficult to reach, the stunning beaches and coral reefs that you will find make the effort well worthwhile. While Okinawa might be a little off the beaten path, it offers a teaching location that is unlike anywhere else in the country. Also read. What is the JET program for teaching English in Japan? Are you ready to teach English in Japan? If you want the best possible start to your teaching career in Japan, why not complete your TEFL certification course at our training center in Tokyo? You can also find out more about living and working in the country via our Japan Country Guide. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Five weekend trips you have to take while teaching abroad in Tokyo. Tokyo is a dream city for many people who aspire to live abroad. It is modern yet traditional and a vibrant culture of food, fashion, and popular media among other things ensures that it has something for everyone. For all its excitement, however, Tokyo is only one part of Japan as a whole. Each area of the island nation holds a distinct culture of its own, offering a myriad of experiences for travelers. Luckily, those who teach English in Japan have easy access to the country's major airports and extensive bullet train lines, meaning they can access almost anywhere else in Japan within a few hours. While living in Tokyo make the most of your experience abroad and try checking out some of these must-see destinations. Soak in the hot springs at Hakan. For centuries, Hakan has attracted visitors with its numerous public baths and Ryakin, traditional style hot springs resorts. The mineral rich waters of these baths provide a number of health benefits and can be accessed by both overnight guests and day trippers. Besides its resorts, Hakan is also known for its natural sites. Among these, one of the most famous is the Oakidani Volcanic Crater. Here you can witness volcanic fumes emerging from the mountains, and on clear days, you can see a view of Mount Fuji from here. Oakudani is also known for black eggs, chicken eggs which are cooked in volcanic water. The eggs' shells turn black from the sulfur in the water, and eating one is said to prolong one's life by seven years. Experience winter sports in Nagano. Best known for the Japanese Alps. Nagano Prefecture is a paradise for skiers and snowboarders. Slopes of varying difficulty levels are found throughout the prefecture, and other winter sports like snowshoeing and skating are also available. Hakuba, just outside of Nagano City, is a particularly famous destination. Nagano City hosted the 1998 Winter Olympics, and the ski jumping stadium built specifically for the Games is still in operation at Hakuba. Visitors to the stadium can take a chairlift and elevator to the top of both jumps and take in the same view the Olympians did back in 1998. Explore Japan from the turn of the century in Inayama. After emerging from a long period of isolation, Japan began rapid modernization efforts in the Meiji era (1868–1912). Many Western influences were adopted, which changed the face of the nation forever. Meiji Mura is an open-air museum that preserves examples of Meiji-era architecture from every corner of Japan. Visitors can try on period clothing, ride Meiji-era streetcars, eat traditional food, and play traditional games within a village of lighthouses, schools, churches, 
and more that were all once in use. The collection of buildings in this museum includes several important cultural properties and houses of famous figures such as classic Japanese author Natsume Saseki. Visit a castle from the big screen in Himeji. Himeji Castle was built in 1609. It is one of only 12 castles in Japan that maintains its original structure and one of five castles designated national treasures. Film fans will recognize this castle from several different movies, including Akira Kurosawa's Ran in Kajimusha and the James Bond film, You Only Live Twice. With its extensive grounds and stunning white structure, Himeji is widely considered one of Japan's most beautiful castles. Spring and autumn are especially popular times to visit, while the cherry blossoms are changing leaves are at their peak. While visiting Himeji you can have tea in the nearby Koken Garden or travel just outside of the city to visit another film site and Yojai Temple. Climb a sacred mountain in Titori. For thousands of years, climbing Mount Aisin was forbidden because the mountain was considered a god. Today, the mountain continues to occupy a special place in the hearts of locals and is one of the most famous mountains in Japan besides Mount Fuji. From June to September, a variety of trails leading to the summit are open. Any of these can be scaled in the course of a single day, leaving time for the number of other activities Mount Aisin has to offer. These include cycling and hiking through some of the oldest forests in Japan and sampling local cuisine. Daisen beer and vegetarian dishes influenced by the mountain's Buddhist roots are just two local favorites. In addition to the sites of Mount Daisen, Tatori is also famous for Japan's largest sand dunes, Tatori Sakyu. Here you can try sandboarding and paragliding, or just enjoy the sand and the sea from the seat of the chairlifts running through the dunes. Summers at the sand dunes can get uncomfortably hot, however, so it might be best to visit Tatori Saku in early or late fall. When are you heading to Tokyo to teach English? All of these destinations are accessible from Tokyo by train, bus, or plane. Using the large number of public holidays Japan offers, usually one three-day weekend a month, it is possible to experience these five sites and more. However long you stay in Japan, there is always something new to discover. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. We also have an in-class TEFL course in Tokyo where you can get to EFL certified in Japan and take part in teacher training for four weeks. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. The most common problems students in Japan face when learning English Japan is a country facing rapid change. Due to an aging population and a scarcity of workers, Japan is opening its borders to foreigners, many of whom speak English. This, along with the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, has led to an increase in demand for English teachers. I currently work in Japan and have had the experience of teaching English to high school Japanese students for the past year. Over the course of this year, I've learned of many problems that students in Japan face when learning English. Of those, the top three problems for students in Japan are pronunciation, shyness, and large class sizes. Differences in phonology. The phonology of the Japanese language is such that every sound ends in a vowel, save for one the N sound. It is very difficult for students to become accustomed to and pronounce the hard consonant sounds of English. Students face an additional barrier in the form of wasayigo or loan words from English. These words are commonplace and use the Japanese phonology. So for students used to saying kaningu, the word cunning is very difficult to pronounce. In addition, meanings have shifted as words have been adopted. Cunning, for example, is a word used to refer to cheating on a test and not someone who is exceptionally clever, as it does in standard English. 
If so, Japanese students face many problems as they adjust to the phonology and meanings of standard English. Students' reluctance to speak. Another major problem students face here is shyness. Japan is a collectivist society. The emphasis is on the group here. Thus, students are often reluctant to speak out or state their own opinions separate from the group. This becomes a problem in the English classroom, as many assignments designed to practice spontaneous creation of language rely on students speaking their minds. Often, even students with advanced English ability are reluctant to participate in assignments such as debates, which are commonplace in the foreign language classroom in Western countries. As I've learned, it isn't common in the Japanese education system for students to engage in creative assignments. Even in their native language classes, lessons tend to focus on concrete facts rather than on creativity. Even young students struggle with this, and for high school students, being asked to imagine what comes next in a story can invoke great anxiety and a further reluctance to participate in the class. This is a problem, not only in my classroom, but in classrooms across the country. Class size in Japanese schools. The final problem I will discuss is class size. English is becoming a required subject for many Japanese students, starting from elementary school. However, class sizes tend to be quite large. 30 to 40 students make up a homeroom class on average. This works fine for regular, lecture-based classes. For foreign language classes, it becomes a problem. With so many students in one room, it becomes very difficult for students to work in small groups and for teachers to be able to help individual students with their English. In such large classes, it is easy for the noise level to get overwhelming and for shyer, quieter students to slip through the cracks and get away with not speaking or participating in assignments. Thus, despite many Japanese students studying English as a subject for 10 or more years, the majority of Japanese adults cannot speak English. Are you ready to teach English in Japan? In my one year of teaching English in Japan, I've learned a lot about being an English teacher and a teacher in general. However, the problems mentioned above, as well as many others plaguing the English education system here, make it very difficult for the vast majority of students in Japan to have meaningful language learning experiences. A teacher who wishes to work in Japan in the public school system will have to adapt their teaching practices, often in ways that don't agree with current educational literature, in order to meet the requirements of their employer and the education department. Still, an English teacher can easily find jobs here and make a difference in the lives of learners. Despite all of these problems facing learners in Japan, it is still a wonderful country to live and teach in, and one I recommend to aspiring EFL teachers. Apply now for your TEFL TESOL certification course and start teaching in a matter of months. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll-free at 1-800-490-0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today. Teaching English in Japan, Alumni Report by Gabriella S. Tell us about yourself. What is your nationality? Hungarian. What city and state are you from? Budapest, Hungary. How old are you? 37. What is your education level and background? Bachelor's degree in international communication with a specialty in East Asian international management. Master's degree in social sciences with a thesis on human values in contemporary education. Diploma in TESOL by ITTT. Have you traveled abroad in the past? If so, where have you been? I have been living in Japan for almost 12 years. Other than Japan, Korea, and the US, Arizona, I have been mainly to European countries, such as the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Romania, Austria, France, the Netherlands, Spain, Greece, and Denmark. Where did you study? Budapest, Hungary, and Bapu, Japan. What made you interested in going to teach English abroad? Staying in Japan, 
made it a necessity, but I had already had experience in tutoring English in Hungary as a student. What were some of your concerns before teaching abroad? I did not have any concerns in particular. TEFL class information. Why did you decide to get TEFL certified and choose ITTT? To get better job opportunities. Which TEFL certification course did you take? I took the 250-hour TESOL diploma course. How did you like the course? I enjoyed the flexibility in terms of pace and room for creativity. How has your TEFL training helped you in your current teaching position? Rather my last position, I worked as an English teacher in a high-ranking elementary school that has a special English education system compared to regular Japanese schools. A certificate in TEFL was one of the requirements, which was my main point in taking the course, but, and of course, it gave me ideas in developing activities or lesson plans, and the confidence I gained was also helpful. Teaching English in Japan. Which city and country did you decide to teach English in, and why? Beppu and Oita, Matsuyama, and Hiroshima, Japan. How long have you been in this country? And how long do you plan to stay? 12 years. Not decided. How did you secure your English teaching job? Through Gage and Pot, a platform for jobs in Japan, studying Japanese and traveling in Japan. What school, company, or program are you working for? Last position. Najisakone Elementary School, Hiroshima. Before that. Emic International, Matsuyama. How did you obtain your work visa? Through employment. But originally, I had a student visa when I came to Japan. Tell us about your English teaching job. In Matsuyama, I worked for a language school where the schedule was demanding, but the job was rewarding. I enjoyed the freedom of developing my own lesson plans, and my boss and my colleagues were great people. The accommodation was provided by my employer. In Hiroshima, where I worked for an elementary school, the schedule was also demanding, but in a different way. There weren't so many classes to teach, but I was responsible for a wide range of chores as an elementary school teacher, not an alt. My husband and I moved into an apartment together that we found through a real estate agency. How did you find somewhere to live, and what is it like? As a student, I lived in a dorm, later with a host family, and then in apartments. All the places I have lived in were always comfortable and convenient in a relaxing environment. Japan Country Information. Please explain your country's cultural aspects, public transportation, nightlife, social activities, food, expat community, dating scene, travel opportunities. Cultural Aspects. East Asian History, Beautiful Nature helpful people, but English is barely understood. Nightlife. Pubs, bars, pachinko, and karaoke, but only in big cities. Social activities. Culture centers, cooking classes, ikebana classes, tea ceremony, voluntary jobs, sport festivals, cultural festivals, etc. Food. Traditional food is healthy. Mild seasoning. Rice, vegetables, and seafood are essential expat community. Most bigger cities have foreign communities. Dating scene. It's better to be a part of the community if you want to meet someone. Travel opportunities. There are many beautiful places to visit, such as Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto and also the beautiful islands of Okinawa in the south. Country information, budget. What are your monthly expenses? Rent. 70,000 yen for a three-room apartment plus utilities, aprox. $640 United States dollars. Food. 30,000 yen for one person, aprox. $275 United States dollars. Social activities. Going out can get quite expensive, especially in the big cities like Tokyo. However, this depends on your lifestyle. Transportation. A monthly pass for bus and subway usually costs around 10,000 yen, $90 United States dollars. Phone. 5,000 yen for a data plan, aprox. $45 United States dollars. Travel. 
If you do not have a Japan Rail Pass, a ride on the Shinkansen Bullet Train will be 13,620 yen one way. Domestic flights are very affordable. How would you describe your standard of living? Comfortable. Teachers in Japan are able to save quite a lot from their salary every month, but the cost of living in Japan has also risen in recent years. In your opinion, how much does someone need to earn in order to live comfortably? It depends on the place. Tokyo is super expensive, but I haven't lived there. But as a student, 100,000 yen, approx. $915 United States dollars is enough. An average English teacher's salary is about 250,000, approx. $2,295 United States dollars, which is enough for savings too. What advice would you give someone planning or considering teaching abroad? Make sure you get familiar with the culture of the country you want to stay in beforehand as much as possible in order to reduce the intensity of a possible culture shock. It is also a good idea to talk to people who have lived there. Learn about facilities, opportunities to make the best out of your stay, and possible risks so that you don't find yourself in trouble 